first question, part A. Okay, so uses three over fourteen of paint for each door. So three over four times seven equals to five point two five T. However, the key thing here is that okay, there's actually no five point two five T of paint for sale. So you're required to round it up into sixteen instead. So Jen buy at 17.16 cent each okay, and sell it for a profit of 25%. So for you to find the selling price simply takes 17.16 times 125%. So the results will actually be 21.45. We buy for part 3. Okay. Each paint is 4% more than the cost of previous year. So the previous year's price multiplied by 104% equals to 17.16. So by running the calculation, you get the results as 16.5. So, find the difference in the cost of paint. So, I took 13.32 divided by 0 0.72, then I get results of 18.5. So, take the 18.5 minus 17.16, then you get the difference as 1.34. For part E, so 750 milliliter in cm cube. So 1000 cm cube equals to one liter. Hence, okay, 750 ml equals to 750 cm cube. Okay, for next question, okay, calculate the radius. So pi times r squared times h, okay, equals to 750. So after you run the shifting, okay, I shifted pi and 11, which is the height, okay, to the other side, then I square root them. So the results will actually be 4.66, and the question stated one decimal place. Hence, I round it up, and I get 4.7. Wait, wait, for part three, okay, keyword mathematically similar. So I took cube root of 750 over 11 equals to cube root of unknown over 22. So by running the shifting and calculation, I get 6 liter as the final answer. So the masses of a teen is 890 gram, corrected to the nearest 10 gram. So the rounding value will actually be 10 divided by 2 equals to 5. And find the upper bound. So all 889 grams per teen, you're required to plus it by 5, then multiply the value by 10. So the final results will actually be 8950 gram. Whereby for part G, the probability that the tin of paint was dented is 0 0.07. So out of 3,000 paint, okay, how many would you expect to be dented? So 3,000 times 0 0.07, then you get the final results as 210. Tin of paint is filled with the rate of 2 meter cube per minute. So Things that I wrote down was 1 meter equals to 100 cm, hence 1 meter cube. 
okay, equals to 100 times 100 times 100. So the results will actually be 1 million. Okay, and they say it's 2 meter cube per minute, hence 2 meter cube equivalents to 2 million times 60 divided by 750. So for an hour, okay, you are able to fill up 160,000 tin of paint. Question 2A, okay, pretty straightforward, simply key it into the calculator and you get the results of 1.62. So for part B number 1, there's actually two methods for you to solve this. First is using the logarithm, so I lock 2 as the base value as 128 and the results will be equivalent to 7 and 7 is the x here or alternatively you can change 128 into 2 to the power of 7 so x equals to 7 okay whereby for part 2 since all of the indices base is the same which is 2 in our case their relationship depends on the symbol being used so times means add them up so x plus 9 equals to 13 x value will be for part 3, okay, I actually noticed a mistake here, okay, because the 4, okay, is not 2, so I'm required to change it into 2 to the power of 2, so 9 minus x equals to 2, and the results will be x equals to 7 after the calculation instead of the 5 over there. Okay, I actually made a mistake here. You're required to take note on this. Whereby for the next one, okay. So things that I did was I changed the square root into 2 to the power of 1 over 3. So x equals to 1 over 3 immediately. Whereby for part C, okay, simply substitute the value of negative 2, neg negative 2 and 0 into the formula given and you get the respective value as 0 0.25 and 1 respectively. So with that being said, we are now able to construct the graph. Question 3. Use your graph to solve 2 to the power of x equals to 5. So simply check the value of x when y equals to 5. So when y equals to 5, x value will actually be 2.3. Okay, and calculate the equation. So first, I utilize the two points that was given to calculate the gradient so after the calculation i get the gradient as 3 okay y equals to mx plus c and our m is 3 now 
So randomly pick one of the point. Okay, in my case, I took one, two, and substitute into the formula to calculate C's value. So after the calculation, C's value will actually be negative one. So Y equals to three X minus one. By drawing a suitable line on your graph, okay, draft out the results. So Y is actually equals to two to the power of X. So I shift off those unnecessary variables, which in our case is negative two and negative X to the other side. And I get the results of X plus two. Okay. So I randomly set two points, which is zero and one in our case, and I get the respective value of two, three. So with that two, three, okay. With the coordinate that we have gotten, zero, two, and one, three, we are now able to construct the last line here, okay? And the interception point will be the final results. So question 3a, okay? First thing that I did was I calculated TB's value using Pythagoras theorem. Okay, after the calculation, I get 10 square root 11, which is equivalent to 33.17. Okay, with that being said, Okay, the angle of elevation of T from C. Okay, now that we have the value of opposite and attraction, so tangent inverse, then you will get angle TCB's value as 25.35. And for you to calculate AC's length, simply use the cosine rule. Okay, then you get AC's value as 109.08. As for you to calculate the area of triangle ABC, simply use the half AB sine C formula. So the results will actually be 1240.58 And lastly for part B Okay, things that I calculate was the hypotenuse of the base first. So I utilize 45 cm and 22 cm to run the calculation. Okay, so the hypotenuse for the base will be 50.09. So with the 50.09 and the height of 12, we can now calculate xy value as 51.51. .51.
for question 4 part A write down the four inequalities so from the information that we have gotten okay it is actually at least five rows bushes so x is more than equals to five at most eight lavender bushes so y is less than equals to eight okay at most 15 bushes in total x plus y less than equals to 15 and more lavender bushes than rose bushes so y is actually more than x so after we have gotten all four inequalities we are now able to construct the inequalities line so do take note that only one of the line is dotted other than that all of them is solid line because of the more than equals to and less than equals to signage Okay, so first line that I drew was x more than equals to 5. This one is actually a vertical line here. Whereby for the next one, y less than equals to 8. So this is actually a horizontal line. And next for x plus y less than equals to 15. Okay, I rearrange them and get y equals to 15 minus x. Okay, and I set out when x value as 7 and 5 what is the respective value of y so with that being said we have identified the coordinate needed to construct the line so with all four lines that we have here now okay the region is labeled as r okay for part b rose bushes cost 6 each and lavender bushes cost 4.5 each the greatest amount of money Ali could spend will be seven eight okay so simply take six times seven okay plus eight times four point five so the final results will actually be seventy eight so for question number five part a angle B E D is actually equal to learns to angle BAD because they are angled from the same segment okay these are the things to take note their starting and ending point is the same If I for angle BOD, okay, it's actually twice the value of BAD, okay, because one is at the inner, one is at the outer. So the reasons will be it is 74 degree because the angle at the center is twice the angle from the circumference. If I for angle BCD, okay, its value actually is actually 143, okay, because if you look closely, after we gotten the 74, the major sector there will be 360 minus 74. Okay, with that being said, divide the value by 2, then you get 143 as BCD's value. Okay, it is as the same reason with part B. For question 6 part A, so things to take note is 120 will be the, the total frequency count. Okay, as for you to calculate the mean, simply find the midpoint of the respective range first. So it will be 0 0.5, 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, 4.5 and 5.5. Then multiply it by the respective frequency, add them all up and divide by 120 to get the answer of 
Question B, number one. So find a cumulative frequency. Okay, for the part that's less than two, it will be 93. Less than equals to three is 102. Less than equals to four, it goes to 130. Less than equals to five, it goes to 180. Okay, with that being said, we are now able to construct the cumulative frequency diagram. Okay, so 120 times 50 percent, then you will get 60. So this 60 here is actually the median. So from cumulative frequency and the count of 60, draw it down, then you get 0 0.75 minutes. As for you to find the inter quarter range, simply take 120 times 75% and 120 times 25%. So the results will be 90 and 30. So the respective value will be 1.85 and 0.3. Hence the difference will be 1.55. And for you to find the 35th percentile, simply takes 120 times 35 percent. So at 42, you draw it down, then you get the results of 0 0.5. Question C. Okay, a new frequency table is being made. Okay, complete the table above. Okay, so 1 to 3. Okay, this one simply takes 21 plus 9 equals to 30 and from 3 to 6 simply takes 11 plus 5 plus 2 so the total is 18. Moving on to part 2, frequency density okay, is the height okay, and the formula of it goes by frequency divided by class interval. So they mentioned about the height is actually 3.6 cm so 72 divided by 1 times unknown equals to 3.6 so the, un the unknown here will be the scale factor okay so after the calculation you get the scale factor as 0 0.05 hence repeat the same step for the next two part okay 30 divided by 2 times 0 0.05 so the results will be 0 0.75 and for the last part, 18 divided by 3 times 0 0.05 equals to 0 0.3. So the total, the results will be 0 0.75 cm and 0 0.3 cm. Question 7. Okay, find the actual distance of AB. Okay, so for those students that printed out the question paper, okay, your answer will be slightly different. Okay, from the marking scheme. It's because of the scale of the graph. Okay, so the 
marking scheme gave the answer 123 to 127. However, for us, that printed out the paper, AB's value will be 114 kilometer. Okay, because it is 11.4 cm only using the ruler to check. Measure the bearing of A from B. Okay. However, the angle here is not affected because the graph is still the same. So the results will be 290 degrees. Write the scale factor 1 to 10 km in the form of 1 to n. So 10 km, okay, convert it into cm first. So 10 times 1000 converted it into meter. Then from 1000 times it by 100. Then you will get 1 million as the results. So n value will be 1 million. As for D, okay, you can just refer to my working okay, and find the region that the question wanted. As for D, the skill drawing, a lake inside the national park has an area of 0.4 cm squared. Find the actual area of the lake. So 1 cm equals to 10 km and 1 cm squared equals to 100 km. Hence 100 km multiplied by 0.4, then you get 40 km squared. Question 8, pretty straightforward. Okay, factorize it, then you will get the results of x minus 5, x plus 2. Okay, for part B, simply change their denominator into the same. Then after you run the calculation, you will get the same result as 2x squared minus 2x minus 3.
So for part 2, for you to solve this question, simply use the formula negative b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divide it by 2a and our a value here will be 2 b value will be negative 2 and c value will be negative 3 the results will be 1.823 or negative 0.823 As for question C, okay, first you change their denominator into the same and combine them together. So after the calculation, we will get the numerator part as x squared plus 3x plus 1. Okay, so this part you actually couldn't factorize it anymore. Hence the answer will be x squared plus 3x plus 1 over x plus 2 x plus 1. For question 9, part A, okay, find the area of diagram 4. So the difference okay, from the diagram 1, 2, 3 will be 3 and 5. Hence, the next one will actually be 7. So 9 plus 7 equals to 6 T. Okay, find the end term. Okay. So find the difference for two rows, okay? If the difference is the same, then you'll be able to substitute into the formula. Two A equals to the square, okay? So A equals to one. Three A plus B equals to three. B equals to zero. A plus B plus C equals to one. C's value is 0. Then substitute it into the formula a n squared plus b n plus c. So you get the results as n squared. Whereby for part b, find the numbers of 1 cm line draw in diagram 4. Okay, so This one is relatively higher. I actually drew out the diagram 4 on top of diagram 13. So by doing so, I'm able to identify the numbers of 1cm line is actually 43. Okay, with that being said, I repeat the same method that was being used in part A number 2. So I listed down 4, 13, 26, 43 and find their difference for 2 rows. So utilize the same formula. 
then you will get 2n squared plus 3n minus 1 as they are n term formula. Okay, and which diagram is 118? So it's simply included in the calculation. So 2n squared plus 3n minus 1 equals to 118. So after the rearrangement, then I will get 2n squared plus 3n minus 119. So n, n, 7, and 8.5. So the results will actually be n equals to 7 or n equals to negative 8.5. So negative 8.5 is not being considered because of this negative value. Hence, the diagram will be diagram number 7. For part C, okay, this one is actually the simultaneous equation. Okay, so for the first n, Okay, its value will be equals to 17. Okay, because I took 4, 13 plus 4. So after we rearrange it, then I get 12a plus 6b equals to 35. So this is our equation 1. Whereby for the first one diagram, okay, so I substitute n equals to 1 into it, and its total 1 cm line will be 4. Then I get 3a plus 3b equals to 10, which is our equation 2. Rearrange them and run the calculation. A's value will actually be 5 over 2 and B's value will be 5 over 6. So it is considered relatively tricky. So you, actually, you can actually relook to my calculation on how did I sort this out. Okay, whereby for question 10 part A, find AB in terms of A and B. So AB is actually AC plus CB. So the answer will be B minus A. Then substitute the information that we have from part B into the graph. So CM is actually half A and MB is another half A. Okay, and X divide AB in a ratio of 1 to 4. Hence AX will actually be 1 over 5 AB and XB will be 4 over 5 AB. So for you to find XM, 
Okay, it is actually XA plus AC plus CM. So XA is actually negative 1 over 5 bracket B minus A plus B, okay, which is AC plus half A. Okay, however, you're going to change it into negative because it goes by C to M instead of M to C. So after you run the calculation, you will get 4 over 5 B minus 3 over 10 A. So thank you for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. Okay, if you happen to have friends that struggles to solve all this past year, feel free to share our content to them. So I wish you all the best in your exam preparation. Thank you.